Hello everyone and welcome back to the episode of Bronze to Glory, the Road to Division 1 series on FIFA 17 where we use bronze packs and the players inside of those packs to try to work our way up to Division 1. So today you can see I'm not joined by anyone, I'm by myself. Um, we were luckily joined by Mini Transaction last time and you guys seem to have enjoyed that episode. Uh, and I did too because we won all three of our games in Division 3, meaning we've played three games, we've won all three, we're on nine points, we need nine more points, three more wins, to get the promotion into Division 2. Now remember, yesterday I mentioned how I qualified for the weekend league using the bronze team. So this weekend, on Friday, I'll start streaming, uh, probably on Twitch or on YouTube, it depends on which one you prefer. In the, in the comments, just tell me Twitch or YouTube. I might even make a straw poll, and uh, I'll do a live stream, and you guys can come and it'll be fun, and I might even open some packs, and we can see how far I can get with the bronze boys in the weekend league. Uh, we're gonna open some bronze packs now. I really hope that this camera does not freeze again, because I already did the introduction, but then it froze. I just don't know why, it keeps doing that. And it's not the it's not the camera's fault, because this is a good new camera, it's the QuickTime player application. So I'm just praying that doesn't happen in the middle of a game. Come on, another 400 coin pack. It's a rare. It is a left winger. It is Farias, we already have him. He plays in Liga Nos, so he might sell for a little bit. But uh, he's not, I haven't used him actually yet. He could be a decent card. Another pack, another day, another pack. I never get silvers on this account, center mid Korean, Lee Kwang Jin, 82 pace but only 59 overall. On my other account, I get silvers all the time. I don't know what it is about this account. Come on, one of these packs please. Martial, we get a rare, finally a rare. Center back French, it's Loris, he plays for Nice. Um, I would normally sell him, because I think he goes for a little bit, but you don't you don't usually get a, 50, or a 64 overall French player so yeah he only sells for like 1k so I'm gonna keep him we also get a Heron Grant I guess that's an okay pack but really it's not that good just compared to the other packs we've been getting it's good and the final pack is coming up Marco Royce on the cover again come on Marco you're my Liebling Spieler and you just gave me three non rares hey, it's call club okay you may have given me three non rares in a row but it's it's a legend it's call club all right for today's first episode we're going with the full english team i think this team's been pretty good the only thing is these wingers haven't really been producing much i know wally had an assist last time to ince um, but the only we're having to rely too much on ince and even jutkovic at times uh, but these are the best english boys that i have at the moment so i'm going to go with them we do have these options on the bench as always that i'm going to bring on at some point first game Let's do it. You know what I haven't done in a while? An ASMR-like bag thingy. I'm gonna do that right now. If you're enjoying the video, could you please drop a like on the video? That'd be great. I would just, if you could just drop 100 million likes. Okay, opponent number one is coming up with a four and a half star, 80 overall, 100 come team. He has Remy, Zaha, and Keita Balde. He has that center mid who I cannot remember, but the cam at the left hand side is pretty good. Parolo, Mbula as well. Gulam, he has uh, Zuma, he has Valencia, Begovic. Can't think of that other center back for Napoli's name, but pretty solid squad. If he's in if he's in Division 3 with this team, he's probably pretty good. Over the top ball, oh no. Over the top ball has come through for Keita Balde. Keita Balde, Pickford, huge save. That's that 90 plus pace that they have up front. Now he goes it across. Oh my god. Gosh, was that the save of the series? I think that honestly was the save of the series. Pickford, I gave you so much stick at the beginning, but you've become an absolute legend. Oh, great ball from Zaha. Plays it to Impula, watch the ball across. Oh my gosh, Remy is arriving. They, he's really dangerous with these low crosses in. Kai Kai, Mulholland. Mulholland to Jitkovic, Jitkovic. Have a hit with the left foot. You are not quite Eduardo da Silva. Mulholland, Ince. Here's Jackson. Jackson plays it for Riley, the fullback. The fullback's gonna hit it. Begovic made a huge save. Riley would. Th I think that would have been his first goal for the club. Everybody was kung fu Edders, please. Edders. <laughs> oh. How that didn't even make sense. How did I just do that? If that had gone in, that would have been the weirdest bicycle kick goal I've ever seen. For Ince. Ince plays a one-two. Back for Ince. Come on, get on the left foot. Get on the left foot. They're backing off too much for. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How have we not scored? Djutkovic for Ince. Ince, left foot. This time, we're gonna score Ince, left foot. He's just too good. He is just too good, boys. We've been dominating the second portion of this first half. We get the 1-0 lead right before the break. 
his calm play, Jitkovic found the open man who was Ince, got on the left foot and just curled it in. This time it hit the post and went in. So at the break, we're playing pretty well, 90% pass XE, 62% possession. Gotta hurry and make these changes. I'm gonna take off Jackson. I'm gonna put on, where is he? De La Plus. did we get it in? I hope we did. Yeah, we did. Oh no, Sapunara hits one. Oh gosh, that would have been a terrible way to start the second half. Jitkovic, play it through now, get there. While he touches it, that's a pen. That has to be a pen, it is a pen. It was just so clumsy from Valencia. I wasn't going anywhere. I don't know, actually I don't know if that was Valencia or Gulam. One of the fullbacks just barged into Wally who had a really good first touch. It was Gulam. And now we can go up 2-0. Jutkovic has stepped up for it. All right, Jutkovic, you gotta put this away, bro. Jutkovic put it into the corner and that's why it went in because he guessed the right direction. We are lucky to be 2-0 up. Kai Kai picks it up though. Kai Kai plays it for Ince. Ince, turn around. Ince, hold him. Still with it, still with it. Ince, get him on your back. Ince, left foot, first time. Oh my gosh, we hit the post again. Jutkovic rebound. How are we not scoring this? Near post, oh, what? Was that an own goal? How did he just do that? I have no idea how that even made sense physically. Like the angle was just so tight. He whips it in. Oh, great header by Emmanuel. There's the final whistle. We got the 2-1 win. It was closer than I expected. An own goal for me, and then I got really lucky with the penalty, but it's another win here in Division 3. Jitkovic got man of the match 9.2. Ince played a 9.1 goals. Jitkovic, Ince, assist. Jitkovic and Ince. So that one gives us 12 points now. We've already clinched the safety. Four wins from four games here in Division 3. I don't know what it is about it. I guess we just found our form. Two more wins, which we can actually do in this episode, and we get the promotion. All right, for game number two, we're going with this squad, which I don't think I've actually ever used. It's a 4 triple 2 built by Jan. Um, we're going with McGinnis up top next to Polion. We have Jackson, we have Ince. We have Winks, McNair, Riley, Tamori, Goldson, Emmanuel, Pickford. It's a, four, a three and a half star, 71 overall, 100 count team. It looks pretty good. The only thing is Jackson hasn't really been playing too well for me. And also Harry Winks is a center defensive mid. Not too sure how that's going to work out. But the rest of the squad looks pretty solid. Okay, and this episode's second opponent is coming up with a five star, 83 overall, 100 chem team. He has Bakambu, he has Ferrer Carrasco, Isco, Inyaki Williams, Koke, and Turan are the center defensive mids. Backline of Juan Fran, Jimenez, Matu, Gaia, Diego Alves. This team doesn't look like it's a five star overall. He must have a good bench. All right, the new boys. Can we do well? Hopefully. Let's just continue the form we've been playing with. Oh, he plays it wide. It's a great ball for Inyaki Williams. He's going to try to center it across and Riley the Redham. Riley Redham. Oh no, he turns me. It's Williams. Inyaki Williams tried to go across the goal. Good thing he messed it up. So at the break, this the defensive effort has been spectacular, but we're not getting too much offense going. And I think it's because Jackson is just not a good cam. So I'm going to replace him with Ribeiro. And then Da Silva. Actually, no, I'm going to put on Rhodes because Rhodes had a hat trick last time out. So I'm going to put him on for Polion. And you know what? I might as well just put on Da Silva for McGinnis. Come on, we got new new attackers, replacements, reinforcements. We should get this goal. Uh oh, we could be in trouble here. It's Gaia, the fullbacks bursting forward. He's gonna put it in. Pickford, good save near post. Go, Patty. Patty, play it now. Play it through. Rhodes, can you run? Oh, Rhodes, we just don't have the pace. If we had someone really pacey, we could break him down with a through ball. Play it through now. Get there, Eduardo. Eduardo da Silva. Eduardo da Silva. He's gonna put it away in the 82nd minute. I think that is my first shot on target. I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. That's probably my first shot on target. Eduardo da Silva. He's just a legend. We played so well defensively this entire match, and then just that was the through ball. He doesn't have a lot of pace, but he sometimes just has the strength and enough pace to do it. All right, come on. We've been really solid defensively this entire game. No reason to slack in the final 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna play this short because I don't want anything silly to happen. I don't even know why people are in the box right now. Emmanuel, here's Ince. Left foot, hits it. Saved by Diego. There's the final whistle, boys. We get the 1-0 victory. That is a victory that I, I'm very proud of. I know it's not very exciting. You guys only saw one goal, but the defensive effort was just incredible. Man of the match went to Harry Winks. I was gonna say, Harry Winks played unbelievably well in center defensive mid. I was questioning how he would play before the game started. He was the best player in the entire club, or in the entire squad. We had Da Silva getting the goal assist to Harry Winks. 
we get the 1-0 victory. So that win gives us five wins now here in Division 3. Five for five, 15 points. We just need one more win. We could get three more draws to get the promotion. And we just got a message from the guy who we just played who says, hope you know that was so unrealistic. And my response is, it's a video game. <laughs> All right, for the final game, we're going with the Chilean Argentine squad who has Acosta and Martinez up front. We have Sarabia, we have Caroca, Lemos, Castro, Soto, Tamori, Humphreys, Grant, Parrot, Pickford, and Nett. Now, the strikers aren't too good in this team, especially Acosta, even though he has the higher pace out of the two, he's always really slow. So I'm gonna look to take him off pretty soon. Everyone else is pretty solid in the squad, so I'm not too annoyed about playing it. Let's see if we can make it three for three, six for six in division three. All right, this final opponent's coming up with a five star 83 overall Hunter Kem team. He has Lukaku up front with a Hunter Kem style, so he's probably gonna score on me. I'm just gonna stay, I'm gonna say that right now. He has Nolito, he has Ericsson, he has Shakiri. He has uh, in the midfield Ramsey and Matic, Smalling, Koscielny, Bellerin, I think that was Nacho Monreal, Cheddar Czech, really solid squad. Lukaku is one of those strikers who just always scores. Snolito whips it in, headers out please. It's gonna fall to Shakiri on the left foot. Nah, it's set up perfect for him. We're down 1-0 already. Ah, four minutes in. Oh no, how did that get through? Not, not again, not again, Shakiri on the left foot again. Oh, we're kind of unlucky. I mean, yeah, he deserves the 2-0 lead, but he's gotten some balls that just fell right to Shakiri. Nope. Oh my gosh, boys. Down 3-0. Getting absolutely smashed. 25 minutes in. Ah, I wish the defender would have cleared it. I mean, he was right there. He has a free kick 31 yards out with Shakiri. Oh, okay. Shakiri just got his hat trick, but there's something weird going on with this game. Like, Pickford just missed the ball. Shakiri hit it. I mean, it was a really good strike, but Pickford probably should be saving that. So at the break, I'm getting absolutely smashed down 4-0. And I don't like to make excuses, but if I were to give this connection a rating out of 10, I would probably have to go with a negative 3. Now he plays it through. Lukaku. How did Lukaku just do that? On his right foot, and I was in front of him. Down 5-0. Sometimes... There's like, okay, I'm not playing very well, but sometimes this game just is not in your favor. I'm not saying they're scripting, but sometimes it's just like, how did I not block that? Other games I've blocked that same exact thing. I've done the same exact movements. Man of the match went to Shakiri, played a 10. Of course, he got a hat trick. Erickson had a goal for him. Lukaku, assist, Ramsey, Erickson, Nolito. Oh, that was just bad. So that means we played six games here in Division 3, five wins, one loss. That was our first loss. Now, I don't believe in scripting, because scripting is the idea that, like, EA decides who is going to win, basically, the game. And I just think that makes no sense. But I do think that input lag, because this is a game based solely off reactions, and so if the other person has a better connection, then they're going to have better reactions, I think that plays a huge difference. So, if one player has a better connection, that's an unfair advantage. Something that EA should really sort out, because this is trying to be a competitive game. So, if they're going to have it so... Whoever has the better connection is going to have an advantage. That's not exactly fair. That's where I'm going to leave it off for this episode of Bronze Glory. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, comment, share with your friends. Hope to see you next time. And as always, don't forget to spare pets.